This video is sponsored by All PCB. Hi everyone, welcome to How to Electronics. In this video, we will learn how we can make our own low power GPS tracker using a LoRa device and monitor the GPS location on Google Maps using the Blink server. For this, I have two pieces of hardware with me. These are the pair of LoRa transceiver devices. This board with white PCB is a LoRa based GPS tracker designed using Alert Zero GPS module. SX1276 LoRa module and 80 Mega328 microcontroller. Similarly, this port in blue PCB is a LoRa receiver designed using ESP8266 Wi-Fi chip and SX1276 LoRa module. The transmitter and receiver both have BMS IC and a low power LDO for power saving and energy efficient application. The LoRa transmitter retrieves the GPS coordinates from satellite system and transmits them to the receiver. The receiver on the other hand parses the data and sends the data to Blink server. In the Blink dashboard you can see the live location of the tracker on Google Maps. I have designed the fully functional PCV4 both ports which are low power and power optimized. I have shared the GOV file as well. I will show you how we can set up the Blink dashboard and also how to program the boards. So let's get started and learn how we can make our own LoRa GPS tracker. Now let's take a look at the components required for this project. For the transmitter part, we used 80 Mega328 microcontroller with an Arduino bootloader. For the receiver part, we used ESP8266 Wi-Fi module. Since the project uses LoRa technology, we used low power and the most popular LoRa chip. As we are in Canada, so we used LoRa module SX1276 which supports both 868 and 915 MHz frequency bands. Similarly, for GPS part, we used GPS module Alert Zero from Quicktail which has an embedded pass antenna and works perfectly in receiving satellite signals. The device is operated by a 3.7 volt lithium ion battery. To charge the lithium ion battery, we used a BMS and battery charging IC MCP72831 from Microchip. The entire circuit operates at 3.3 volt. Hence, we used an LDOS ST7333 from Holtec. All other components like registers, capacitors, and LED are having 0805 SMD package. The bill of materials with purchase link is shared in the website article. Here is a complete schematic for the transmitter part designed using the EasyEDA software. It has an 80 Mega328 microcontroller, LoRa module SX1276, Alert Zero GPS module, battery charging IC, and LDO. The 80 Mega328 can be programmed using the FTDI module. All the design calculations are calculated and tested, so the circuit works 100% is fine. I have designed the custom PCB for this schematic. All the components are perfectly placed and easy to assemble at home. This is the 3D view of the transmitter circuit. I have added the GOVA file for this in the website article. You can download it. Similarly, this is the complete schematic of the receiver part. It has ESP8266 Wi-Fi module, LoRa module SX1276, battery charging IC and LDO. The circuit has an automatic programmer and hence you don't need to press any buttons while programming using the AptDI module. I converted this schematic to the custom PCB. The custom PCB is compact and looks awesome. This is the 3D view of the custom PCB designed for this application. You can download the GOVA file for this PCB as well. It is time to order the PCB. So I visited All PCB, which is the official sponsor of this video as well. You can get your trial for PCB for only $1 here. It is very cheap compared to all other PCB manufacturers. I uploaded the GOVA file and filled in the details like material type, dimensions, quantities, thickness, solder mass color, and other required parameters. Then I clicked on a quote now. Here you see the price is only $1. 
Now I selected my country of shipment and placed the order. Now after 5 days I received the PCB. Look at this PCB quality, it is very premium and has a perfect design for my project. If you want to order the PCV at $1, check the first link in the description. Now it is time to solder all the components on this transmitter PCB board. I picked all my components first. Then using my microscope, I placed solder paste on the PCB pad. Then I placed all the components one by one. First, I soldered all the SMD components like registers, capacitors, transistors, LED, push buttons and micro USB port. After soldering all these, I can solder the 80 mega 38 chip. I desoldered the 80 mega 38 chip from Arduino Nano. It is already has pre-installed bootloader. Then I soldered the LoRa module and then GPS module. Finally, I soldered the true hole components like the crystal oscillator, battery connector, switch and female heater spin. Finally, the transmitter is ready. It is time to solder all components on receiver PCB. I picked the necessary components again. Then using my microscope, I placed solder paste on the PCB pad. Then I placed all the components one by one. First, I soldered all the assembly components like resistors, capacitors, transistors, LED, push buttons and micro USB ports. After soldering all this, I soldered the ESP8266 raw chip and LoRa module SX1276. Then I soldered the battery connector, switch and male header pins. Finally the receiver is also ready. To power the both transmitter and receiver circuit use a 3.7 volt lithium and battery. The hardware part is completed now so we need to move to the coding part and also the blink application part. First set up the blink. Visit blink.cloud and create a Blink account on the Blink website. Or you can simply sign in using the registered email ID. Then create a template like this and a dashboard like this. A dashboard has a map widget and three level display widget. In the map section, do the settings as shown here. The complete setting part of the Blink app is explained in the website article with easy instruction. You may read it and set up the Blink app. After the setup is complete, create a device. So you are done. The received data from the LoRa receiver will be posted here. And you can view the latitude, longitude, speed as well as location on this map. This is the code for the transmitter. The transmitter will acquire the data from satellite using the Allied Zero GPS receiver module. The LoRa SX1276 will transmit the data wirelessly, which needs to be received and read by the receiver. The transmission in data won't take place until the GPS receives the valid GPS coordinates. We also have implemented the functionality of sleep mode so that the device goes to sleep mode to save the battery power. In this code, we put the device to sleep for 12 seconds only. You may need to modify the code to put the device in sleep mode for longer time. To upload the code, connect the FTDI module to this female header. The FTDI directly fits here. From the board manager, select Arduino Nano and Comport. Then hit the upload button to upload the code. This is the code for the receiver. 
In this code, the loader will receive the message from the transmitter and then purchase the GPS data. There are virtual pin assignments for Blink app. The GPS data will be sent to Blink and you need to log into Blink dashboard for viewing the data. To upload the code, connect the FTDA module using the jumper wires. From the board manager list, select the node MCU 1.0 board and upload the code. After uploading the code, you may open serial monitor on the transmitter end. You will see the latitude, longitude and speed data over here. It will also show if the LoRa data transmission is successful or not. The sleep mode status will be shown as well. In the receiver part, if you take a look at the serial monitor, the GPS data will be received and sent to the Blink dashboard. Open the Blink dashboard. Here, you can see the latitude, longitude and speed data is locked on. Similarly, the map is showing the tracker location with proper positioning. You may zoom in on the map to find the perfect location. Now the hardware is communicating with each other. Therefore, we can take the device for outdoor testing. You may keep the receiver circuit at your home which remains connected to Wi-Fi network. For a better range of more than 1 km, use the best antenna with maximum power. There are various lower antenna with 1.5 dB, 3 dB and 9 dB power. The receiver is stationary. For the LoRa transmitter, it is movable. You can hang it on your pet neck, just put it on your car or just move it here and there for testing. The coordinates on the Blink dashboard update automatically based on the movement of the tracker. But to see the map, you need to refresh it every time. You can check your mobile dashboard as well for the GPS location. That is all from the project part today. All the information related to the project like bill of materials, schematic, PCV, cover files and source code can be found on the How to Electronics website article. You may order PCV online from all PCV aid $1 only. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video.